Hello everyone. So in my first video, which was actually done in November last year, I mentioned a great coaching combination that was developing, not only at Stellenbosch Golf Club, but also in general. And I mentioned two words, which, are, which were measuring and uniqueness. Yeah, we speak about measuring first. We've been able to measure a lot of things about golf for a long time, if we just think of how long video analysis has been around for. And then it's well known that uh, my mentor, Mike Adams, already back in 1982, he wanted to know, uh, he, he saw that the top players were moving, all moving differently and gripping differently, but all playing well. So he started all the, all the research way back in, and in 1982, he already had a force plate, which were already available from 1976. So I'll tell you something about how lucky we are uh, to do with the force plate a bit later. But that was, so that was over the, all of 40 years ago already, that uh, Mike already had a, was using a force plate. So, and then thanks to people like our own member of Stellenbosch Golf Club, Henry Johnson and his company Flightscope, our partners from across the road, for, for over 20 years, we've been able to measure very accurately everything about the ball flight and club angles and, and uh, ball striking and uh, impact parameters very accurately. So that's all been fantastic part of measuring. But all of this time, there was one glaring missing link, which we actually knew about, or we, we could see it for so long. But it just shows how difficult it was to actually measure it. And that's the differences between you and I, or how everybody moves differently and what it actually is exactly what that makes them so different. And that's why that took another best part of another 20 years after the launch monitor to, to be able to measure it. But we've arrived at that point now, and that's what's so exciting. It's very recent and it's a fantastic measuring addition to, to uh, what we've been able to measure so far. Why it was such an important missing link is because up to now, through no fault of our own, we had to work with averages or we had to try what works for, for someone else uh, and and so on. So just as an example, if, if this is the average, there's as many people this side of the average as they are on that side of the average. And unknowingly, if we were trying to get everyone to an average, we didn't know that we were hurting uh, a lot of players by trying to do that. But that, that can all change now because we have this information available. It boils down to six measurements of screens that really help a lot. So I'll be bringing it to you in the, in the next video, just more about the, shortly about the, the six measurements and screens that can make such a difference. And it is making such a difference. And, uh, and then I will be bringing you more about the, the Swing Catalyst software, but speaking about Swing Catalyst, you will have seen it in the, in the previous video, uh, or have heard about it. So again, thanks to Henry Johnson and Flightscope, uh, who have put us in the, in the privileged position that, that we are the first uh, club in South Africa to have access to a Swing Catalyst 3D motion plate, which is a made up of a balance plate and a highly advanced force plate as well, which is like the, the cherry on top. So I'll be bringing you how I basically, I use the, the tests and screens, uh, which to me make the, the flight scope and the, 
the motion plate so much more valuable. And I'll show you how I can use the tests and, and measurements of the screens so that once the person is on the motion plate, which by the way is fantastic, you, you can look out for, for things that I'm seeing on the, on the plate, which is beneficial for even beginners, from beginner right through to, to, to a player. And but once the person on the motion plate, because of the tests and screens, I know exactly what makes this person unique. And then I can move them towards what will work for them. And maybe just as importantly, move them away from trying something that will not work for them, make them worse or even worse, hurt them or injure them. We know how many top players is frightening, how many are, are injured, and we now know more, much more about that and can, can change that a lot. And speaking about injury, the, in the following videos after, after the, the screens video, I've decided to bring myself as an example because I'm such a good example, I've always wondered, I understand now why things that I saw on, on my swing videos always were bothering me. Now they don't anymore, I know because I understand exactly for the first time why, why it what is so. I also understand why I couldn't produce a lot of the speed that I, that I should, should have. And I also understand how I, quite a bad knee injury developed just about a year before I, I, uh, I came, came across all of this and fully understand that how that comes from a grip position that I had for, was using for 20 years, which didn't match my arm mechanics. So everybody's arm functions differently. Uh, the grip, the logic, yeah, and how we understand the grip now is, is nearly overwhelming to me. So there's a lot of grip positions that are correct for one particular player and might be incorrect for the next player. So that's what's also so nice. There's no right or wrong or correct and incorrect anymore. It's just what's correct for the, for the person. So I'll be bringing you, you more on that and as I said, listen for, for the things that I'm seeing. Uh, I'm even seeing things like uh, senior ladies. Uh, I had a lady beginner producing more force, more vertical force than lots of men that I've had on the plate that are half her, half her age. And I can also understand that now as well. So. Enjoy the videos, and I'll be bringing you more, hopefully shorter videos, and see you soon.